begin answering this question by constructing a diagram. The next thing we want to do is use Gauss's law. Now this is the integral version of this. And what this is saying is that we want to take the integral around this surface area. And these are all the variables involved in it. So what we're going to do now is as the part A is asking, find the electric field for all points outside the spherical shell. We want to pick a point, any point outside the sphere here. I'll use this blue X. And now we want to draw a circle around here. This is known as a Gaussian surface. And the next thing we want to do is go ahead and solve using Gauss's law right here. So if we're taking the integral of this section right here, we get E times A is equal to the sum of the enclosed charges divided by epsilon naught. Inside this Gaussian sphere, we have a plus Q and a minus Q. So plus Q and a minus Q. All over epsilon naught. If we continue, we notice that this becomes zero. Therefore, the electric field at points outside of this sphere within this blue right here. So points all around over here will, ha will have no electric field at those points. In order to solve part B, once again, we use Gauss's law. And now we're going to pick a point inside the sphere. Let's, it's an arbitrary point. We'll choose that right there. And we'll create a Gaussian surface. So we have the circle right here. And we'll go ahead and apply the formula here. And we get that E times A is equal to. Now the sum of the enclosed charge, we only have one. So we have a positive Q all over epsilon naught. What is the area here? Well, we have to use the surface area of this sphere right here. So that gives us the electric field times 4 pi r squared is equal to Q over epsilon naught. Let's isolate the electric field. So we get Q over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. What's interesting about this value here, it equates to the Coulomb constant, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to our Coulomb constant. So we can reduce this term even further so that we get k q over r squared and we could put the subscript e there if we wanted to so this it whatever if they had given us the value of the point charge we could get a numerical value but that is the electric field all within the sphere now, the electric field will also be pointing outwards. It points outwards because we have a positive Q value. 